And before Charlie came along, guitar players were really playing rhythm in the background or they were playing classical music or you know folk music. But Charlie could play melody and solo just like a horn player or a piano player. And that changed everything, it really did. And in a way, it kind of set up uh, the, the field for a young Jimi Hendrix, you know, coming a few years later uh, in a completely different generation. But um, I think those two guys would be pretty exciting <laughs> to play with. <laughs> I, I guess, I guess. And now, talk about. Uh, let's talk about uh, video games. Right now, there is like this uh, new generation of, of of young kids that start uh, playing these games like a guitar. That they are guitar players. Some of your songs are there. Um, what's your opinion about it? Well, it's great that video games have real music. Um, you know, in the old days, it had this funky little MIDI control computer <laughs> music. That's pretty annoying. Um, and so once they l once they let real music recordings into the video games, I thought that was a good step. You know, games like Gran Turismo were using summer song for many years. Um, but I think uh, the whole idea of a game based around music performance is fantastic. Much better than, you know, uh, blowing up tanks or killing zombies or something like that. So uh, I, not, I think that any young kid uh, who picks up uh, the guitar controller, you know, I mean, it's not going to teach them what to do with their hands so much, but it uh, it will help them with their rhythm and their sense of hearing, which is, you know, that's maybe two-thirds of it right there. <laughs> so uh, that's got to be good. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's amazing. And, and talking about kids, I, I know that you care about kids with this organization called Little Kids Rock, right? That it's a non-profit organization. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, you know, um, there's two organizations, Little Kids Rock and Music in Schools Today, and in the U.S., uh, they really fill a need um, in the schools, in the public school system, where uh, because of budgetary cuts, the arts uh, programs for the kids have been cut completely. So there are no art classes, there are no music classes. And, you know, in any, any given classroom, there's got to be half of the kids who are probably incredibly gifted with music, and the other half would greatly benefit uh, just being involved in music because it's good for the brain for the rest of their subjects, and it's a social thing. It's just fun to play music with people, no matter what you do. It, you wind up playing the tambourine and not the piano, I don't think it matters. So music is, is a, an important thing. And so these two organizations will uh, come into a school and with, uh, the, the, you know, through the charity of others, will not only supply curriculum, but instruments uh, for the classrooms and help the school deal with the money crunch and get these kids involved in music and, uh, and, and keep the arts alive. So it, two great organizations. It's an, an amazing thing to do. And, and also, I, I want to know if it's true. I read about this project that uh, is supposed to be uh, you and Michael Anthony and Sammy Heger and Chad Smith. It's going to be true? Uh, absolutely true, yeah. yeah. We uh, got together a few months ago, uh, jumped on stage uh, at, a, at a show in Vegas that uh, Sammy was doing. And we had such a good time just playing some old traffic tunes and Led Zeppelin songs that, it, you know, it just sort of clicked and we thought, well, okay, this should be a band, you know. So uh, we've written a lot of songs, you know, at least two albums worth, uh, and we've been making demos, and uh, we're hoping that by the end of the year we'll have a finished album, and then we'll take it on tour. So an amazing, an amazing idea and an amazing news for all your fans. Do you have already a name for the band? Well, you know, that's really funny. Uh, no. <laughs> but everybody keeps calling it Chicken Foot because that was the first name that Sammy came up with. But, you know, if you know Sammy, you know he's got an idea every three seconds. So <laughs> the, the, the band names keep coming, so we haven't figured out what to call it yet. Okay, last question. Uh, I know you uh, you have collaborated with different bands in the past. The last thing I think it was with Dream Theater in the last album, Dream Theater. Do you have any plans to collaborate soon with another with another band? Uh, not really. I think the last thing I did, I, I uh, added some solos to uh, John Five's solo record. Um, and that was really a lot of fun because the music is really outside of what I usually do. Um, and I've done so uh, with Jordan Rudess from Dream Theater. Um, I, I tend, you know, to shy away from, from being uh, exploited, you know, for somebody else's record if they just want some outrageous noise that I've done and they want it on their song. Uh, you know, 20 years ago when I was a session player, I would have done it, but uh, now that I have uh, my own catalog and 
and my own live performances to think about them, I'm not that quick to just play on anybody's record. So I tend to like, uh, if it's something I really believe in, um, you know, uh, then, then I'll do it. And, and, and if I like the music, you know, um, maybe um, there's a guy you'll hear of soon, a guy named uh, Dave Martone from Canada, an amazing guitar player, and he created this crazy song and, uh, you know, and, and sent me the files to add a solo to And I had a really great time doing it. Okay. And, uh, and Dave's really great. He's, he's someone to look out for. Thank you very much for your time. It's interior. It's an honor to talk with you. Consigan la neta el material discográfico de Joe Satrani. Look, I, I'm going to try to say it like really fast. Professor Stach, Satch Funkilus and the Mystery of Rock. That's pretty good. Kind uh, of, kind of. Kind of, I'll say it again. Professor Satch Funkilus and the Mysterion of Rock. Oh, yeah. Qué mejor, hermanos. Vamos a continuar con más. No le cambies. <laughs> 